Some people think pickles are old fashioned, and they are. It originated around 4,000 years ago as a means to preserve food and for long boat trips. But today, pickles are cool again, thanks to uprising of young chefs using them in their dishes and the fact that it tastes delicious. So today, I'm going to show you how to master the simple pickle. Every pickle starts with a good vinegar, which is responsible for killing the bacteria and helps to preserve the food you're pickling. Today I'm using Anchor White Malt Vinegar, which has a 5% acidity and is perfect for pickling. It also adds a mild, sweet and complex flavour, which is everything you want in a pickle. Another bonus is that Anchor Vinegar is WA made. For well over 100 years, Anchor Foods has produced its own vinegar from the purest of Australian spirits and wines. So get a heavy base saucepan, and what we're going to do is start adding in our aromats that are going to help flavour the vinegar. We're going to start with a nice bay leaf, which is a good accompaniment to almost anything. The cinnamon quill, which will add a lovely sweet sort of flavour to it. A teaspoon of mustard seed. We're going to add some coarse sea salt, a star anise, about a teaspoon of black peppercorns, a teaspoon of coriander seeds, and about half a cup of sugar, which will actually just give a nice bit of sweetness to cut through the really sort of tart vinegar flavour. Check that in. Right, we need two cloves of garlic as well. And then we've got to add our liquids. So we've got about a cup of water. And the main ingredient, the anchor white malt vinegar. About, probably about two cups. So it almost ends up being about a half sugar to, to vinegar ratio. Now all we need to do is chuck that on the heat. But essentially all you're gonna do is get whatever's left over in your fridge. And the great thing about pickling, nothing has to look the same. You can cut everything into different shapes, you know, some batons, some wedges. You want it to have different textures and different shapes of all your veggies so it doesn't all look the same. Now place your cut up vegetables into a sterilised jar and when the pickling liquid has come to the boil, let it stand for one minute. Then simply top up your jar with the liquid, making sure you cover all of the ingredients. And that's it. Once the pickling liquid is cooled, simply place the lid on and these bad boys will be ready in just over a week. So the next time you have leftovers in your fridge, don't throw them out, pickle them instead.